So recently, dude, I had this uh, it's a really painful experience. Painful for the ego. Not my true, not my true self. Uh, you could say I was a witness to it, but this this experience, man, that was so like real seeming. I had this awful, awful wave of anxiety hit me really late at night. And usually, man, I'm kind of chill late at night, kind of settled. I've always had that perspective that like one day is like a mini life, right? And at the end of the day, you feel like a old wise spiritual master. Ah, oh, I've lived this life, but not 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 on this particular occasion, man. And it wasn't even that long ago, man. It was like a couple of days ago, and I was just uh, I was just hanging out, and my mind was not. Not there, not 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 conscious, you could say. <laughs> and immediately I was like, "Oh man, I've got to do something about this because this is this is this is heavy." You know, when you're you're feeling really like disconnected from truth. Like I literally felt cut off from God. You know, when you're so it's this man. It's when your ego is so up and so intact and so real. Like the illusion is properly properly real. Like with fear. And fear and anxiety are really present. This is what, you know, telltale tell signs. And I, uh, I realized this topic of surrender is crucial. It's crucial to know about. It's crucial to know that like, when you are struggling and suffering, the, like, and it's really bad, like, you know, really bad, dude. Dude, the only place you can go sometimes is, uh, is, is a place of surrender. So giving in, allowing, accepting. And, and dying, right? When we say surrender, it's not just like, oh, I'm suffering and I'm just gonna surrender. No, dude, it's like, you're gripping on to life, like, ah, ah. And you're like, fine, ah, I surrender. And you know, you just let go, right? You just let go. And, uh, and yeah, man, I had this experience. And this thing's, you know, basically, in short, uh, nothing external bad was happening. It was just all in the mind. As with everything, by the way, it's all within. I was having, having this experience and uh, I was hit with this, just this wave of anxiety, man. Oh, I was just, uh, just didn't, didn't feel like myself at all. I was just completely cut off from God, completely disconnected from reality, not in alignment with truth whatsoever. Just an ego, basically, man, and in fearful ego. Not a nice place to be, man. And I was trying to make something happen, basically, uh, trying to let go, but you know, still hold on at the same time because the ego doesn't want to really let go. And I was sitting there, man, and I was like, "Oh God, this is so painful, and so uh, I'm suffering so much right now. I've got to lie down. I've got to die right now." So I was laying there and I was like, okay, man, I'm just going to completely surrender to God. And as soon as I began to let go, I just had this glimmer of intuition, which was like, dude, duh. Of course, surrendering your ego is the only way that you're going to solve this. It's the last thing that you will want to do. But when you're suffering, man, and you're really suffering, and I'm not, because, you know, because everyone suffers. We all suffer, man. I suffer. You suffer. We all like, you know, we all suffer, man. But when it's like, whoo, when it's really bad, dude, you know, full transparency, man, I actually had to call someone because I was in such a bad place. I needed some, some grounding, some support. And the support from someone else is always good. You know, it's always nice to, to be, uh, to have someone there, almost to feel a bit more connected and to be heard. But then, you know, sometimes you won't be able to make that call or sometimes, you know, it's, it's just you. I mean, it is always just you, existentially. That is if you want to be really honest with your experience, spiritually, but that's a bit deep. We'll save that for another time, to be honest, man, because it's, uh, it goes really deep when you start realizing that you are alone existentially and spiritually. Um, but again, you know, that's not a bad thing. Just like with surrender, um, it seems scary. 
it is scary for a bit because you're seeing it through ego. But what happens is when you do surrender or when you do allow yourself to be alone in yourself, spiritually and existentially, ah, a huge peace comes over you. Because there's only one thing that's true about you, man. It's your true self as God. So it's a true nature. So to put it quite specifically or technically, uh, you are consciousness. That's what you are, absolutely. However, you've got an ego as well. And this ego, this is the source of all of your suffering, right? So it's interesting because you can be alive, but you can also be kind of dead at the same time. You can die before you die. And this is what happens when you surrender, full surrender. And you don't even need to be tripping. You don't even need to be a, uh, on a psychedelic or, or anything. You can always surrender. You can always give in. Now, obviously, it, it's, it's, um, it's made easier with certain substances. It's made easier with a different state of consciousness. Because what I found, dude, was when I was trying to surrender, you know, being a starfish, like lying on the, on the floor, just, you know, fully letting go to the universe, man is um, that the state of consciousness that I was in was, it was altered because I was in this weird place, but it wasn't altered enough to let go and to really, really surrender. <laughs> Basically, I was, I was kind of stuck in ego. And it was really annoying. I was also trying to cry. I was also trying to cry. So for me, that's a bit of a surrender. I mean, for a lot of people it is, but I used to really struggle with crying. Uh, for, you know, really badly actually, man. I still kind of do. And I thought, well, if I can't surrender myself and realize I'm God and, and uh, just let my ego go, um, I'll cry and, and have an emotional release. And the ego was like, nice try, dude but you ain't grand. And so I was like, oh, fuck, fine. And so in that moment, did I really appreciate, man, it's state of consciousness. State of consciousness, your state. The state that you are in is what allows you to do certain things. Sometimes, notice, man, notice how sometimes you just can't feel empathy for people as much. It's because of your state. Whereas other times you're like, oh man, I, I'm feel so, I feel so compassionate right now for these people or this person. Like, why don't I feel as empathetic normally? Why don't I feel like this always? It's a function of your state of consciousness. If you're in a different state, man, if you're in a low state, you're gonna naturally be more selfish. You're gonna be thinking of yourself. Your heart isn't gonna be open to those people or to that person. Whereas when you're in a high consciousness state, your heart is literally going to open and expand and you're going to be able to have more compassion and empathy and love. And really, empathy, compassion, they are both love. It's just love, this is the ultimate thing. This is the, you know, one of the biggest themes of the channel because this is the ultimate nature of reality and the answer to everything. It's literally God. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is, I just ended up forgiving myself for the state that I was in, the limited state of consciousness that I was in, the suffering that I was going through, and, uh, and, I, and eventually, man, the connection that I felt with the person that I was speaking to when I, when I called them allowed me to get grounded and allowed me to just be okay because um, I was able to have some perspective uh, in talking to this person, which was really useful to be honest, because if you can't find that connection within yourself, sometimes a trusted individual can help bring out good things in you, which is what I kind of like to do on a daily basis with my coaching, you know, being having a trusted relationship where you can feel or intuit or go deep into something, that is a powerful thing. That is a powerful container. That is why I love coaching and mentoring because you can do that for people. And that applies to me too, man. I'm, I'm on both sides as well. Like I see professionals as well because any good coach gets coached. It's just how it is. It's like with any, any professional, really. Uh, you wanna be on both sides. So, dude, we're gonna wrap things up there. 
I hope you've taken some things from today. I hope you like the new setup, it's looking a little bit different. And uh, I hope you like this longer, more kind of chill style of video. Uh, took a little bit of time off to do some reflection, but I'm back now. And yeah, man, I'm looking forward to connecting more with you and going deeper and raising consciousness and evolving. It's gonna be good. Uh, if you want any support, I do offer coaching and mentoring. If you're interested in that, you can see my website in the link in the description. Otherwise, man, we shall call the video there. I love you. Take care, man. And as always, peace.